Hey girls, welcome to week two of the five minute flower challenge. Hopefully you had a whole lot of fun with last week's project. We saw amazing projects come through on social media and in the Facebook group. Like this one by Kristen in NYC. Oversized florals by The Real Money. Roses and carnations by Jenny and these Aussie natives by the Venue Insider Girls. Last week we showed you one of our favorite flower arranging tips and we put together a really fun arrangement with lots of different textures. But this week we're taking things back to basics. We want to show you how you can make your home beautiful and feel abundant with even just one variety of flowers. You can have beautiful movement, colour, texture and depth with even just the one type of flower without having to spend a whole lot of money or overcomplicate things. So let's get started. So this week I'm putting together an arrangement for my dining room table. I love coming home to fresh flowers and my dining room table is the first thing I see when I come through the door. I went to the supermarket this week and there was a little bit less selection than last week but I managed to pick up this pretty dark pink lysianthus which will be perfect for this week's arrangement. Now if you can't get lysianthus, any sort of big showy blooms would also be perfect like tulips, ranunculus or anemones. So all you need for this week's arrangement are three vessels. You can use any glasses from your kitchen uh, and I've got these old salvaged um, peanut butter jars or passata bottles um, which I never throw out, I bought them and they're fantastic vases. So we've chosen three in three different heights so that we can stagger the heights of the flowers and give them depth and movement. As usual before we get started arranging we want to prepare all of our flowers and remove all of the lower leaves from the stems so that none of them fall below the waterline. You don't need to fuss around too much cutting or trimming leaves off, you can simply just pull them and they come away really easily. Now it's quite nice to leave a couple of these leaves near the top for a little bit of texture and greenery. Now a super cool thing about the Xianthus is that it's an extremely branchy flower. As you can see, that's just one stem there, and you can get quite a few usable pieces out of every single stem. With this piece here, you could use it as one individual stem, or you could cut it just above where it branches off to end up with two great usable pieces. So what you want to do is choose one really nice tall piece to use in your tallest arms. And we're going to snip that off just before it goes into the water so the stem doesn't have a chance to seal before getting a fresh drink. So there's our first one. Give it a really pretty nice angle there. For our second vase, we're going to use two stems to give a little bit more volume. And we want the second water blooms to sit a little shorter than the first. So we'll cut that off. And I'm going to mix in some of these younger, lighter blooms for a bit of beautiful colour variation so that you've got the dark pink and that beautiful light blush pink as well. Finally, for the shortest bars, we're going to have quite a lot of volume, so we'll use a handful of stems for that. That looks about right. And don't feel like your flowers all need to be facing the front. It's actually really beautiful to see the underside of the blooms as well. So we'll have one or two that are just facing upwards, like that. You can use any of these little leftover buds to create a little bit more texture and a beautiful line with your little bud vases. So now it's just a matter of arranging your vases in a way that you think looks best. I like to have the tallest vase at the back for a bit of height. The medium one nestled in quite close with blooms leaning out to the right and the smallest, tiniest one at the front. Don't forget if you have any leftovers, they're great to do little tiny bud vases of flowers that are perfect for your bathroom or for your bedside table. Well, I hope you loved this week's project. Hopefully it gives you a taste of how easy flower arranging can really be. You really only need 
one sort of flower to make your home a beautiful place to be. Now don't forget to jump online and share your week's project using the hashtag 5 Minute Flowers. And jump into the Flower Squad Facebook group if you have any questions or if you get stuck. From me and the team at Bloombox Co, have a beautiful weekend and I'll see you next week.